Sword Infantry and Shogun 2 are the heavy lifters, the infantry units that you will need only a few of in an army, but who will be doing the most damage on the battlefield. Unlike Spear Infantry whose general purpose is to hold the line and counter enemy cavalry units. Katana Samurai are the flagship unit of this class. Being Samurai, they have strong ratings in morale and melee attack, as well as decent defense and armor, making them strong offensively and quite durable. They also boast a large passive bonus against Spear Infantry, who are very common units. That doesn't mean you should be reckless with them, as Samurai units are expensive and slow to replenish. Leave your Yari Ashigaru to take the brunt of the enemy assault, acting as an anvil while the Katana Samurai rush to strike in the flanks or rear. Used in this manner, they will deal a good deal of damage to the enemy unit and likely break them while suffering very few losses of their own. They can then continue down the line until the entire enemy force is routing. Katana Samurai should generally avoid countercharging an enemy unless they have a height advantage, in which case they can hold back and defeat multiple units of spear infantry. Cavalry are the ideal counter to sword infantry. Even a unit of cheap light cavalry can defeat a katana samurai given a good charge. The threat of cavalry can prevent the samurai from safely flanking an enemy army, so when used in this fashion katana samurai should be supported by your own cavalry or spear infantry. And while this unit has decent armor, it cannot tank arrows as well as Naginata Samurai, and bullets will ignore armor so they should be kept clear of projectiles as much as possible. Nodachi Samurai could seem like a flawed concept at first. They forego nearly all melee defense and armor for a powerful charge, but why not just get a unit of cavalry? Cavalry units are smaller and even more fragile, but the most important difference is that Nodachi Samurai, being sword infantry, will slaughter spear infantry. Similar to the Katana Samurai, this unit should typically be kept in reserve until the lines clash, after which they can shatter units with a flanking charge. A unit of Yari Ashigaru will break almost immediately, and other infantry units will not last much longer. Given this unit's abysmal armor and defense, they must be kept clear of cavalry charges, though the Nodachi can still win against stationary cavalry or if they are charging downhill. This unit must make the most of its charge. You should avoid sending the Nodachi to attack a unit if they are unlikely to quickly win the fight, because after the charge wears off, they will start to suffer casualties, again due to their fragility. To that end, they have the Banzai ability, which further boosts their offensive capabilities and raises their morale to such high levels that they will never break so long as it is active. The Katana Hero is what you'd expect from the name, a nigh unbreakable unit with strong ratings in every category. It is also small, meaning it must stay out of sight of gunpowder weapons so that it can be used to strike wavering enemy units in their rears while using the Banzai ability, or supporting the main line with their strong defense and hold firm ability, which boosts the unit's morale and the fighting ability of nearby units. They also passively inspire friendly units around them. However heroic this unit may be, they should not be left open to enemy cavalry. They will not die very quickly due to how durable they are, but fighting cavalry with this unit is a huge waste of its potential. We're not done yet though. You might be wondering where the Katana Ashigaru unit is, because there are Yari Ashigaru and Bo Ashigaru, right? Well, there is the Lone Sword Ashigaru unit, but it's unique to the Iko Iki faction. I said I would generally not be covering DLC units, but this is an exception given how game changing they are for that faction. They have worse ratings in every category than Katana Samurai, as you'd expect, but in the early game where Yari Ashigaru are the most common unit on the battlefield, Lone Sword Ashigaru are an extremely useful unit, even capable of beating Yari Samurai. It's no surprise the Ikoiki should get to work using them from the very first turn, considering they have access to a unit their enemies cannot yet match. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to check out my live content, my Twitch link will be in the description of this video. Thank you and I'll see you next time.